Looking to get a Steam Deck, but you don't want to pay the cost? You should look into getting a Backbone along with Moonlight Streaming. Welcome back to No Plan. The first part of this video is going to be showing off the Backbone controller, and the second part is going to be showing off how we set up Steam Link and Moonlight to stream to my phone. Now the Backbone is an $100 controller from Amazon. Its main feature is that you can play on your phone with it. I mean, you'll notice this is the Lightning version. There's a Type-C version, no difference in price. And all you have to do to connect your phone is simply slide in the top. You do have to take off your case, pull this back. You'll notice it has the logo there and then just line up the lightning port with the bottom of your phone and boom. You'll notice the little backbone button lights up and when you press this button, it'll start the backbone app. Now, this is where my biggest problem with the backbone comes in. If you'll notice, it's saying, hey, claim 30 days free for the backbone trial. It does have a 3.5 millimeter jack that you can use headphones. It also has a lightning pass through so you can charge your phone while you play. But unless you have the subscription to Backbone, you can hook it up to your computer and use it like a normal controller. Cause that's something they do advertise where you can just take this off, plug it into your computer and hey, there's a spare controller right there, but you can do that unless you have the subscription, which is quite irritating. Now, as far as mobile games are concerned, you need to be careful about what games support it, like PUBG Mobile does not support this, while Call of Duty Mobile allegedly does, I haven't confirmed it, but according to my sources, which is Google, it does. But this is not what we're really about. We don't really care about mobile games. We wanna stream our games from our computer to the phone, and we wanna have also non-Steam games be streamable, and that's what we're gonna do right here. We're gonna set up Steam Link, then Moonlight, and then we're gonna do some testing. Now, to enable Steam streaming, it's very easy. We'll just go up to Steam in the top left corner, excuse me, we'll go to Settings, then we have to go down to Streaming, or I think it's Remote Play, and then all you have to do is pair Steam Link. On the Steam Link app, you, I believe you log into your account, then you'll have a four digit code, you put it in here, and boom, you're connected, it's super easy. To test the backbone, and really by extension Steam Link and Moonlight to its fullest capabilities, I'm at a hotel room, as you can see here, and this is not the most optimal place because I'm running on cellular, there's really bad Wi-Fi here. I have good Wi-Fi at home, but you need to have Wi-Fi on both ends that's decent to make it work, but you can sort of see, now that I've loaded in the Steam Link, which is very simple, you'll notice right here, there's a hair bit of lag. For a game like this, like, well, <laughs> This is again what I was mentioning about the Steam Link app. See, I zoomed in there, now it starts lagging. What we'll do now to try to fix some of this lag is we'll swap over to Moonlight and see if that makes a difference. Before we run the Moonlight streaming internet hosting tool or whatever it's called, we have to go to NVIDIA GeForce Experience, go to Shield and make sure that game stream is enabled. And if you're not sure if your GPU is compatible, I believe it needs to be a 10 series or newer to have game streaming. Now that we're at the computer, let's get Moonlight set up. So we're gonna go to Host Downloads, Internet Hosting Tool, and this will take us to the GitHub page. And since our gaming PC is not paired, let's go ahead and download this one. We'll go ahead and run it. All right, we're gonna hit close on that. And then if we go to the search bar, we should see Moonlight Internet Streaming Tester. We'll click on that. Now, this IP address I would write down, you don't have to because you likely are not going to need it, but it's good to have just in case. Now on my phone, I went to the Moonlight app and you can tell it brings up my computer. Now if I tap on that, since I have the Shield streaming enabled, it says Shield is requesting to connect. And on the phone, I have a code 9547, so we'll go ahead and put it in here. 9547, connect, and boom, we're connected. So on the Moonlight app, you're gonna notice that it's blank. You know, you click on your computer and there's nothing there. What you have to do is you have to add your games and applications through the NVIDIA GeForce experience. Now, what we can do is if I hit add, see I've got beyond all reason on my desktop. I can click on that, hit open, and it'll add it. So if I go to my phone, I can tap on that and it'll go ahead and start beyond all reason. Now, all the instructions for Moonlight are on these GitHub pages. It's very easy to do, but we wanna add our desktop. And so all we'll have to do is find this path right here. And we're gonna look for that mstsc.exe and we'll just go ahead and hit open. And that adds that. And so now if we go back to our phone, we'll notice we have mstsc.exe. So we can tap on that on our phone. It'll say starting it, and boom, there we go, we're connected. 
All we gotta do is close the app to get rid of it. And now, Moonlight is hooked up to our computer. We can always add other applications, like, you know, if you're using Photoshop, you could have that startup. There's all sorts of stuff you can do, but it all has to be done through GeForce Experience because it's you're basically mimicking a NVIDIA shield. Alrighty, so now we're loaded into Moonlight. Now, there is still a little bit of input lag. It's not as bad. I think Moonlight does perform a lot better overall than Steam Link. It's a lot more polished and it's way easier to set up than it was before. So overall, the Steam Link, it's very easy to set up, but it doesn't have the best latency. Even on your home Wi-Fi, I have noticed a bit of lag. Moonlight, perfectly playable on home Wi-Fi. Like I was playing Dark Souls on my couch. However, when you get out of town or off your Wi-Fi really, that's where you start to run into issues, but there's really not much you can do about that and you have to be realistic with your expectations. Anything off of cellular or hotel Wi-Fi is gonna be limited and unless you have a good connection at your home and where you're going, you can't expect it to be smooth all the time. Now, how does this work as a budget Steam Deck? I'd say, considering everything, fairly well. My phone being the iPhone SE is irritating because it has the smallest screen and it's honestly hard to see. Like even with the Steam Deck itself, I had sometimes a hard time seeing the screen. So take into consideration what size phone you have. Also what speed internet you have as well. Overall, I do enjoy the backbone. I received this as a gift. Thank you. And I'm also pleased with Moonlight and Steam Link as well. Moonlight is so much easier to set up than it was before. You just remember you had to do a bunch of port forwarding and stuff like that, but now you just run that tool and boom, you're good to go on Wi-Fi or off. I hope this tutorial was helpful and we'll catch you in the next episode of No Plan.